just messing around with stuff. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my Wellbeing Wednesday. And I was just saying to our friends on Instagram here, do you know, I don't think I've done a live from my kitchen, from my new kitchen. So I haven't, certainly haven't done one from my kitchen for ages. So welcome to my kitchen. It's, uh, it's very similar in design to my other one because <laughs> that's kind of what I like. Uh, and I'm going to cook something which I'm going to be making a lot actually in the run up to Christmas when you have friends over for drinks and snacks and things like that. And we did a post on social, I think it was last week maybe, it might have been the recipe in the newsletter, which was for keto crackers. Did you see it? It's made with seeds. Really, really delicious. I'll show you. This is what they turn out like. I made a little batch here. And I don't know about you, but you know, when I go to parties or have friends around, I really like having something that's a bit crunchy. But inevitably, I end up just scoffing a whole load of crisps, which you know is really bad, um, or handfuls of nuts and things, which are you know really high in calorie, very good, very nutritious, obviously. But it's nice to have something a little bit different. And of course, if anybody is going high fat, low carb, following a keto uh, way of eating then cutting out all the sugars completely, then this is a really healthy option and I really like them. So you'll find the recipe on Lizard Wellbeing. Uh, I think Rachel, maybe you'll pop a link up on Facebook. Uh, for those of you on Instagram, if you're new, I hope you're enjoying all the new stuff that's going on Facebook, uh, on Instagram because Rachel's been super busy. So in the stories now, there's just so much information and there's links that you can click on and resources and competitions and all sorts. So big thank you, Rachel. I know you're doing amazing, amazing work in just really helping to bring our community alive and give everybody a little bit more support and a bit more content, you know, which we've just, we've been so flat out. We're in a tiny, tiny team. So um, having Rachel with us now is really brilliant. Thank you. So Rachel will pop a link up on Facebook, but otherwise just literally hop over to Liz Arwell wellbeing.com um, and if you just type in keto crackers the recipe will ping up and in fact what I did we've now got this set up on the website which is I'm really pleased about you can just click to print whereas before it was a little bit tricky to print out recipes I printed mine out really really easy so if you want to keep I've got a folder in my kitchen actually of all my favorite well-being recipes um, so it's very easy now just to print out your favorite Things. So one of the other reasons why I'm going to do this now is that it takes about 20-30 minutes for the seeds to soak. So I thought while they soaked, I could then run through some of the amazing Black Friday deals that my team have put together because you know we've got so many great deals anyway using the Liz Loves affiliate discount code. Well, a lot of the brands that give us that discount have actually increased it for this week. So if you're a fan of some of the things that I talk about, and you're thinking, hmm, let's get some more of those, or maybe you know you're gonna buy some things for stocking fillers or whatever. This would be a really good time to do it because a lot of the brands are on extra discounts. So I just want to make you aware of that. Um, actually, just very quickly, just literally balanced on my mixing bowl here, is one of the advent calendars from Solcom Dairy, our lovely friends down in South Devon. The last posting date, if you want to get one before the 1st of December, and obviously open your first window to reveal the delicious handmade chocolate behind it is going to be this Friday so if you use Liz Loves you get an extra five pounds off so really great thank you very much our friends at Solcom Dairy they've got a couple of designs on their website all plastic free so there's no little plastic trays inside here all packaging is printed and made in Devon as are their chocolates so real kind of home brand to support there and thank you very much for giving us the extra discount okay so I'm going to get going with some cooking this is really a simple easy easy recipe in fact there's not really very much cooking involved it's a question of mixing all the seeds together and giving them a good soak so I apologize Facebook I don't think my camera is going to go down far enough for you to see or YouTube um, but hopefully you might just catch a glimpse of it here on uh, Instagram so basically what you do, and I will just double check that I'm following the recipe exactly because sometimes I do go off piste a bit. Um, but these are super easy because you're basically putting all the seeds and the seasoning into a big bowl. You pour some water over them and then you leave them to soak for a bit. And I'll explain why you leave them to soak because there's some very good health reasons as to why you should soak your seeds. 
um, and then you bake them. So then you, I'm going to spread them out into a baking tin and bake them. So let's get going. So I'm going to start first with sunflower seeds. I have actually weighed all these out um, before I started. So I've got 70 grams of sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, uh, when my gerbils are not eating them, because as you know, I did get custody of the gerbils, which are still going strong and they love sunflower seeds, but apparently you mustn't give them too many, just like kind of one or two, otherwise they just kind of overdose on sunflower seeds. They're also very keen on goji berries. Anybody else try goji berries on their little rodent friends, critters? maybe gerbils or hamsters. Honestly, I had some uh, goji berries in a packet and uh, they went a bit hard and the, the sell-by date was gone and I thought, well, I, you know, I won't use them for, for humans, but maybe there might be a small tiny rodent that would like a goji berry. And honestly, they go, now, if they see me walk past, they just like come scurrying up to the cage and they go, oh, I think she's gonna give us a goji berry. So anyway. I digress. So I'm going to start with sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are one of my favourites. I often sprinkle them onto yoghurt to give a bit of extra crunch. Very high in protein, lots of vitamin E, not, and nothing not to love about sunflower seeds. Then I'm going to add the same amount, 70 grams of pumpkin seeds. Lovely dark green pumpkin seeds. Interestingly, pumpkin seeds have got some studies relating to helping prevent prostate cancer. So they've got interesting compounds, interesting phytochemicals in pumpkin seeds. I just think they taste delicious, packed with minerals as well, really a good thing to use. Then I'm going to use 20 grams of golden linseeds. These haven't been crushed. You could have crushed linseeds if you want. Um, I didn't get around to grinding mine, but again, they're full of vitamin E. They have lots of uh, fiber in them, so they're very good for gut health. And they've got quite a nice golden color and sort of nutty flavor. Then I'm going to add some sesame seeds, 10 grams of sesame seeds, just a few sesame seeds in here. Very high in calcium, so a really nice seed to use. Uh, sesame can be one of the known allergens, which is why it's often listed on packets of processed food, sesame seeds or sesame oil. So if that's the case for you, obviously just leave it out. And I think with all of my recipes, they are quite flexible. That's why I always have to check the recipe when I'm making them because I will kind of deviate. And if I haven't got enough of one thing, I'll just add a bit more of something else. Or if you've got a particular seed that you really like, then you could have more of that, for example. Then I'm also going to add chia, chia seeds. And these, of course, will swell when I add the water. So there's 50 grams of chia seeds going in. Really good natural prebiotic, very good for gut health. You've got lots of nutrients in chia seeds, you've got lots of soluble fibre, you've got lots of protein, so that's a really good thing to have. I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt, just fine salt, just sprinkled over there. That gives it that kind of savoury uh, flavour, particularly good for snacks. I'm going to use a little bit of chilli powder, not too much, because as you may remember, I'm not a massive fan of chilli, but the recipe calls for half a teaspoon, so... I'm just going to use a little sprinkling like that just to sort of give it a little bit more of a flavour. If you like chilli, if that's your thing, then definitely you could really pump up the volume there if you wanted to. And then I'm going to use also a teaspoon of dried oregano. I've got a packet one here, but you might have dried oregano that you have dried from the garden maybe. So again, that just gives it a really nice, a bit more interest than, than just seeds. But you can add other things, you know, you could have garlic powder, you could have some turmeric, you can, you know, really play around with it. And then I'm going to use 175 grams of cold water. So I'll just measure that. Uh, where are we? So 175 mils or grams, that is going to be, where are we? That's, that's about there, I should say. Uh, and then... Literally, all you do is just stir that together and leave it. And this is where the seeds obviously will soak up the water. Now, I mentioned about soaking seeds, and you can also soak nuts. I know we've had a bit of a giggle before, haven't we, about soaking your nuts and activating them. And it makes them more digestible to start with, because what it does is seeds and, and nuts, if you imagine, they are the kind of the kernel of the new plant that's going to grow, that's going to germinate in the ground. And they have protective phytochemical coatings that are quite hard to break down, and that's what protects the seed and keeps it lasting longer. And they can be quite indigestible. So you get more of the enzyme activity from the seed 
if it's all the nut actually if it's been soaked first and actually I was looking up online because I thought well if that's the case for health you know what do gardeners do and I'm sure some of you keen gardeners out there are those who soak your seeds do you soak your seeds before planting there's quite a lot of online chat actually about how it helps improve the rate of germination because again what you're doing is you're getting rid of those chemicals those toxins that can bind onto the outer coating of the seed to protect it but also to delay germination so if you can break that down and then you put the seed straight into the soil then you get more of a success rate for the seeds actually shooting so have you found that i'd love to know because I, I haven't never soaked my seeds um so oh there are lots of questions about my my kitchen i should tell you that in just a moment uh, oh you've made these have you lemony crosby how very nice oh sarah you just bought all the ingredients that you need to make these brilliant 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 hey oh isabel from barbados hi there you could make these in barbados couldn't you it wouldn't be too hot they're not going to melt or anything hi hi so let me just show you before i i move off the the soaking of the seeds so you can see already that that's turning into, you know, quite a thick kind of paste. It's beginning to, um, to kind of mulch together there. So yes, lots online about the benefits of soaking seeds, soaking nuts. And you can even, you know, with nuts and seeds, if you want to, for health reasons, you can start to sprout them. Because if you think that's what's going to happen in the ground, if you planted them, they would obviously start to be activated, they would germinate and they would start to sprout. And that is supposedly releasing lots of beneficial enzymes, so making them more nutritious. So, yeah, I mean, that's what seeds would do in the ground, isn't it? They would get water from the soil and they would then start to sprout and grow rather than just stay um, dehydrated, you know, in a packet or a jar. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to one side now because I do need that to soak. Obviously, all the chia seeds that are in there are going to soak up and swell. Love chia seeds. Chia seeds are so filling. You know, you can just add chia seeds to a smoothie or to a, a liquid yogurty kind of drink. And you just find that they then swell up inside you. So you actually, you know, it's a good way of stopping hunger pangs, for example. So, okay, so before I move on to tell you about some of the Black Friday deals, which I don't think you're going to want to miss because there's some real goodies, uh, I will just have a few words about my kitchen. So, yeah, I've got my Arga. I've gone a bit, uh, gone a little bit off piste with this because it's, um, it's a called pewter, the colour, so it's really like a dark black. And then the back here is polished plaster. So I got a company to come in and just create this kind of polished pl plaster splashback, which is great because it, it will hide loads of stains and splashes because it's all kind of swirly and, and mottly. So and I've got my hanging rail and just, you know, put all, all my pots and pans like I did before. And then I just had little alcoves built into the side so that I could stuff more things away because you can never have too much storage space, can you? So that's kind of where I keep all my kitchen bits and bobs that I'm cooking with the you know spices and herbs and I've got one the other side as well it's got a bit taller where I've got all my oils and things so uh, oh I'm glad you like it thank you thank you so much um, okay so Lisa says she's just ordered some NMN to help with having energy after having COVID uh, and she says well I see a difference straight away do take a listen Lisa to the podcast that I recorded with Ed uh, and he is the founder of Youth and Earth. Actually, you're talking about this. I had mine this morning. This is how I get mine. This is my little packet that I've got on the go. If you haven't seen it in real life, what it has inside it is just a, a white powder like this. And then what you do is you put a scoopful of that literally straight under the tongue and it's absorbed immediately. It's got a kind of lemony, sherbety flavour. And I have mine first thing, so... It just goes straight into my system. And to be honest, I find that it gives me a bit of a lift. I feel a bit brighter for it. I often, you know, then follow it by doing a run or some squats or some push-ups or something. And I just feel that I have a, I feel a bit more incentivized to do that. They have actually got a double discount going on. Let me just share that with you for anybody that wants to order or at least if you want to grab some more. I've just reordered actually because it's something that I do genuinely rate and I have it myself. Youth and Earth. Okay, so normally we get 20% off with Liz Loves. Now, up until Monday, we get 25%. So that's a quarter off, which is pretty good. So if you fancy restocking, 
um, then please take advantage of that. All these codes that I'm going to mention, I think with the exception of one, which I'll point out, is Liz Loves. So that's all in capitals, all one word. Um, so that's Youth and Earth, but that is only until midnight, well actually 11.59 if you're going to be precise, on Monday. Okay, so that gets you 25% off. So I think take a listen to the podcast I recorded with Ed and I would say that you should feel a bit brighter straight away. He says, I think on the podcast, that it can take a month or so to really kind of start feeling the difference. I certainly see the difference or feel the difference, I should say, if I don't take it. I just think, oh, you know, why am I feeling a bit flat this morning? And, and I go, oh, okay, I'm going to have a scoop full of NMN. And, and it definitely, definitely picks me up. And I think the science is pretty sound. When you think this is a natural ingredient that we all have in our bodies, but we lose it with age. So depending on your age of, you know, how old you are when you're watching me, you know, I'm in my 50s and I've got significantly less NMN than I had in my 20s, 30s, 40s. So I'm just popping a little bit back. So that is how it works and that's what it does. Those of you who've got the copy of my magazine, um, I think the NMN, I lose track because we're now working on the next issue. Pretty sure the, oh no, this magazine, oh yeah, NMN is all about NMN in this one, 39, page 39, where are we? There we go. This is the section that I write called Live Well for Longer. And there is a three-page article in that which talks about how it works and what you can expect from it. It actually mentions the offer there saying you get 20% off, but actually at the moment it's 25%, but just until Monday, the 29th of November, if you're watching this in catch-up. Okay, so, but even after that, it'll just go back to 20%, so you'll still be able to get it. Uh, right, hi. Oh, it's very nice to have you. Hi, Roro Rocks. What am I making? I'm making keto crackers. CD keto crackers. Yep. Uh, oh, you thought I was multitasking, Nikki, and doing Christmas pudding. Well, I have thought about that. I have actually got, oh, let me just reach out. I have got off camera um, my bags of dried fruit because I am going to make the mince meat. I actually printed out, where are we? Okay, so we've got, I hope you've all got your copy of my Christmas download, Happy Healthy Christmas. So in here, there is a fantastic mincemeat recipe, which is a bit different from other mincemeats that you might have made in the past. It's actually to make turmeric mince pies. Now the turmeric bit really is in the pastry. It turns in this lovely kind of golden yellow color. So you obviously can just use normal pastry if you wanted to. But the mincemeat is really good because it contains lots of dried fruit, other things like a bit of grated carrot, lots of ginger, mixed spice, cinnamon, um, you can use an orange and, or a satsuma in there to get that lovely orangey colour and flavour. It's got lots of apple, finely chopped or grated apple. So it's a really sort of slightly healthy mix. I haven't actually used any suet in this. You could put in a little bit of beef suet if you wanted or vegetarian suet if, um, if, you know, if you fancied that. But I actually make mine without and I just find that the spices and the natural fruits there, it's got no added sugar because we're using a lot of the dried fruit which is rich in natural sugars. So I'm actually going to be doing that a little bit later. And I might do it, maybe I'll do a, um, a film it for YouTube, maybe pop it onto YouTube. Anyway, do grab this if you would like to. I printed mine out because I find it really handy to have in the kitchen when I'm cooking, but it is a download and you'll find that on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, this is doing pretty well. If you can see, this is, if you missed it at the beginning, these are all my lovely seeds mixed together with a little bit of water and some special seasoning and they are really beginning to solidify, which is what you want, because then I'm going to spread them out onto a baking tray so I can bake them, and then they just sort of dry through, and then you can break them up. Or you can form them into little, you know, neat little round circles, perhaps if you're going to be serving them for a drinks party or something um, a bit more elegant. Right, uh, so other discounts to tell you about. So microbes... This is a really popular one. These are these lovely family farm in Somerset where they make these liquid microbial drinks. And which one am I drinking at the moment? I'm drinking this one, the BioLive Gold. I'm about halfway through that. Let me just show you. This is mine. So that's um, what that looks like. It's just like a really clear little liquid. It looks a bit like 
apple cider vinegar maybe. Uh, mm. Oh, it tastes a bit like apple cider vinegar. So I would have a little slug of this first thing most mornings, not every morning, just depends how I feel really. But what I like about it is that it has 15 different families of gut health cultures. So you really are helping to repopulate the gut. Plus they use special herbs and botanicals and natural extracts to support different things. They've got a respiratory one, for example. So that might be good for anybody who's convalescing or recovering from flu at the moment. And they also have a women's one, which has got uh, female associated herbs in it and extracts. Anyway, we normally have a discount with them. We normally have 10%, which is great, but they've doubled it. So again, until midnight on Monday, if you want to restock on your microbes or want to try it for the first time, that is 20% using your Liz Loves. And that's microbes with a Z, okay, microbes. If you want any of the links, by the way, you will find them. I think I mentioned this on Monday, that Rachel has very cleverly put together the Instagram guides. This is new for Instagram. Obviously, she'll pop the links up on Facebook. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, then the easiest thing probably is to go to lizourwellbeing.com. And then if you just click where it says Liz Loves, all the codes come up. And, and as, as they expire, we take them off and we refresh them and we put new ones up. So that you'll always find something there that's good and worth having. But on Instagram, um, we've now got a, a little section. It looks a bit like a, a book icon. And if you click on that then you'll find all the guides to different things. So again, thank you, Rachel, for doing that. It's really, really helpful, bringing everything to life a little bit more. Um, more discounts, Governor Olive Oil. This is one of my favorite gifts, actually. Do you know, if you've got guys in the family that are really hard to give presents to, and you know, you might end up giving them a nice bottle of wine or a bottle of scotch or something. Well, how about something that is a bit more healthful? This is really premium, I love the packaging. And in here we have the beautiful white embossed bottle like that. Oh, Lainey, Lainey's here. That's great. She can go and answer the door. There's always something that happens, isn't there, live? And look, and it's got its little leather tag, like a little tie. Isn't that so cute? But not only is this a really great tasting oil, I actually gave a bottle to my father for his birthday very recently, just a few weeks ago. And I said to him, now listen, don't cook with this. You know, this is really good stuff. This is, you can even have it by the spoonful if you want it, because it's been clinically shown to have health benefits because it's very high in polyphenols. But this is the one that I would use on, for example, green veggies. So if I was steaming some broccoli, having some broad beans or peas or anything like that, kale, for example, cabbage, then when, once it's cooked, just drizzling that over the top or stirring that through, it actually helps increase the bioavailability of the nutrients in the green veg. So things like vitamin K2, which you find in the dark green leafy greens, you are going to increase their nutritional content by having it with a little bit of good quality fat and having it with a bit of good quality EVU, extra virgin olive oil, then that makes it even better. So this, this comes with a little um, leaflet actually telling you all about it, limited edition, telling you how rare it is. Healthy, authentic and rare, it says. And it's, um, it's one of the very few, if not the only one, to be actually clinically shown to have all sorts of biological properties and pharmacological actions because it's been measured properly. So it's, uh, it is a bit like a health food, I guess. Um, anyway, it's very gourmet and I think it's delicious and I am very thrilled that we have now got an even better discount. So if you want to grab some of those, um, this, oh, and it says here, so that again is till midnight on Monday. So I hope that you are all making notes here if you want to be doing some early Christmas shopping. So it says here, the people at Governor have said any orders from this live today will be the new wonderfully freshly harvested oil and they will be the first customers to taste the new harvest um, and this is when the evu extra virgin olive oil is at its absolute ultimate best the aromas the fresh flavors and the healthful polyphenol concentrations are at their most vibrant intense and healthiest so there you go order it today and you'll get that amazingly fresh Fresh from the farm harvest, cold pressed governor olive oil. 
Okay, so more deals. Holistic Silk. This was another really favourite brand. I know lots of you have, have had great things from Holistic Silk in the past. They're based down in south, the southwest. I think they might actually be in Cornwall. Um, this is one of my favourite things. It's a silk turban and you wrap it around your head like that and it has a really stylish look actually when you when you do it properly on your hair and this you can i mean you can actually wear it in the evening frankly you could wear this as an evening out with a beautiful sort of diamante brooch pinned onto it they do lots of colors i think the black one's really stylish but it's really good at night because what this fine quality silk does is it helps to smooth the cuticle of the hair so if your hair is quite fragile, quite fine, you end up with smoother, shinier, protected hair while you sleep. And actually also, if you're somebody that gets a bit hot at night, I quite like sleeping with my hair off my neck. So I have um, a moulded foam pillow, but I actually usually wear a scrunchie at night just to keep my hair, I don't like having the hair on the back of my neck, it just feels a bit too overheated. Um, so I would use something like this or a hair scrunchie and in fact talking about scrunchies they are giving us a free scrunchie let me just check exactly what it says here so holistic silk uh, so first of all the Liz loves code increases from 10% to 15% so that's great plus there is a gift with purchase so you get one of their pure silk scrunchies the hair scrunchies absolutely free normally they're 15 pounds for orders over a hundred pounds so there you go. So that is double discounts there and increasing the normal Liz Loves code again until midnight on Monday. So they've got really lovely things. Actually, it's not just hair turbans. They've got things like hair scrunchies. Um, they have uh, really lovely silk masks, eye masks, lots of great things. Go and, go and check them out. All handmade here in the UK. And it's another great female founder led brand. So Big shout out supporting other women. Uh, another great female founder led brand that I've spoken about a lot, and again, you will find this on my bedside table, and I take it wherever I go. You've guessed it, bedside table, it has to be Life Armor, Slumber Drops. Now, again, that they've increased, normally it's 15% off all Life Armor, they've increased it to 20% until midnight on Monday. Um, plus, we've got a bundle. Okay, this is great. So we've got an exclusive bundle of two of their teas and the glass infuser, which is on offer. And then the code works on top of that as well. So that is really good. So the teas, there's the slumber tea and the balance tea, which match with their beautiful oils, not oils, their beautiful drops, which I've got here. I'll show you the drops in just a sec. Um, so you've got these, I love it. They call them a daily cup of positivity. Yeah, get it? Tease, positivity. Uh, and also this neat little thing, which I think also makes a great little stocking filler, actually. It's one of their glass infusers, so you put the fresh tea in there, and then you can use that in a teapot or in a mug just to make your own fresh teas. So that is, I wonder if I can open this neatly. I don't want to spoil it, the packaging, because it's just so prettily done. But I want to show you what the teas actually look like, because they are just organic plants that are blended together. The slumber one is particularly nice. So this is slumber. Do you see that, how pretty that is? With the blue and the, the chamomile, the little yellow chamomile. These are all organic, organically grown, wild harvested or just organically grown um, herbs. This one, in the slumber one, we have lemon balm, passion flower, really good obviously as you know for sleep, chamomile, lavender, valerian root and hops. So fantastic, 100% organic ingredients, caffeine free, lovely, really, really nice present for somebody. And of course that goes along with their uh, slumbery drops. We've also got, actually, yeah, I love that too. But this is their um, eye mask, very pretty. So that comes in a whole little slumber set. So I've got here the slumber drops. We've got the drops of balance, drops of vitality, drops of immunity. I know lots of you are taking drops of immunity right now, not surprisingly. Um, so drops of immunity has vitamin C and it also has, I'm pretty sure it has the uh, berries. Yeah, so the uh, Eleuthera, the Astralagus, Echinacea, Elderberry and Holy Basil, which I know I've talked a lot about in the past. So again, you'll find all the details of 
what the herbs are and what they do over on their website. And what I like about the drops is they, they taste really good and they are just so easy to take. So, you know, wherever you are, or if you're giving stuff to children or to older people in the family who don't like endlessly swallowing capsules and things, you can give them a really good uh, concentration of goodness. And then the ones that I actually keep in my bag is Drops of Balance. So Drops of Balance, I think we're all going to be needing perhaps Drops of Balance, a little bit more coming up in the next few weeks. As the stresses and inevitable tensions and strains of families and social and pressures of deadlines and holidays and all of that just kind of pile in. Drops of Balance has the ashwagandha, which is that balancing adaptogenic herb. And actually, I've got a podcast going out on Friday. I recorded it yesterday with the amazing Dr. Feddy from Indie Supplements. You may have heard her on the live, was it last week? It might have been last Wednesday. I can't remember now. The days are kind of blurring. Um, anyway, she was talking about ashwagandha and adaptogenic herbs and what they are and how they work. And I think these are excellent. So I basically, my two kind of go-tos tend to be the drops of balance, which I have in my bag for those moments when I just feel I just need a little bit of calm, a bit of fortification. And then I have my slumber drops by the bed. And my girls also have the slumber drops. So I will be stocking up on them. Again, they make very good stocking fillers, I think. Uh, so just to say that's the deal has gone up from 15% to 20%. And that is until midnight on Monday. Uh, now I was asked, actually, I had an email from a friend to, to today, which I will reply to later on saying, uh, I really want to get some vitamin D, Liz, what do you recommend? Well, the one that I take is this one, Better You, love this brand, with marine safe plastics. They use the plastics that have come out of the ocean. So they're actually taking plastic out uh, and then they're part of the process of reusing it. You know, um, it's a really very clever idea, this use of, of ocean plastic. So take a look at their website if you want to know more about it. I like this one, it's the 3000 milligram, so it's quite a strong one. And I've had my genetic testing done, so I know I need a bit more than usual because I'm not that good at absorbing it. But I think in these uh, times of coughs and colds and flu bugs and more, then I think upping our vitamin D levels, especially as we lose the sunshine, maybe not for you, Isabel, in Barbados, but for us certainly, I don't know about you, but it's very gray outside here. Then, and what I like about the Better You, Mm. tastes really minty fresh, is that they've done lots of studies working with Cardiff University to show the uh, uh, basically the, the heightened absorption and bioavailability when you spray it into your mouth, when it goes through the mucous membrane. So basically it goes straight into your system. So it doesn't go through the gut, it doesn't go through the digestive system, like a, a tablet or a capsule would have to get broken down. Um, this just goes straight in and this is what um, I squirted my youngest with actually this morning. So this one, they do either the one with the K2, which increases the absorption of the vitamin D, or they do one on its own that's literally just the vitamin D and they do 1000 milligrams as well as the, um, as the higher ones. And this is a really good deal. So if you want to stock up, seriously stock up for the winter, then you're not going to get a better deal than this because it's 35% off. I know, I, had to, I said, actually, sure that's not a typo. 35% off and that's all their single products. So not their bundles where they've already discounted, but their single products. Um, and the offer that they've got on their website at the moment is 30%. But we, because we're special, we've got 35. So thank you very much, Andrew and team at Better You. We love you. We think it's great. We love your science. We love everything that you're doing. And of course, it's not just vitamin D. They've got a very good multi-vitamin B. So a mixture of lots of different vitamin Bs. They've got the iron sprays, which are very good. You can also get testing kits. The discount doesn't work on the testing kits. And the reason for that is they pretty much sell them at cost anyway, because that's like a service to find out how deficient you are. Um, but the products, they are actually able to discount them. And this is also a lovely, lovely thing. I think this would make a great present for somebody, actually. It's their mineral bath flakes. And this is the one that I use. It's the Sleep Magnesium because it's got lavender in it as well. 
So it's not just a kind of Epsom salt bath, which is great, and you know, or a magnesium bath, but this actually has lavender and chamomile in it as well, so it smells good. So the key thing with these, why the packets are so big, is you do need to use quite a lot, and you do need to soak in it for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's not, you know, it's, if you're having a quick dip, then don't bother, because you need to give your body time to absorb and benefit from the magnesium. But if you need a really good night's sleep, seriously, a magnesium soak in their sleep bath before bed, there's some slumber drops, earplugs in, a bit of magnesium as well, a magnesium supplement before bed can really help. Also very good for aching muscles, so if you're somebody, either you're convalescing, or you've been doing lots of gym, or you've been upping your activity, uh, you need a bad back or something like that. So great, really nice at present, 35% off, okay? So thank you very much to everybody at Better You. We are thrilled to have that nearly at the end uh, of some of the discount codes. I just have another little look at the, at the seeds. Here we go. I think the seeds are nearly ready for spreading. This is so easy, honestly. I love it. Really good to make a whole batch, actually, and then just put them aside in a jar. I keep mine in um, an you know, airtight tin. And then they're always ready for some healthy snacking. Uh, right, abundance and health. So we are, ooh, so they have got a 20% discount on their website. So abundance and health, they make the liposomal vitamin C. You may have heard I did a podcast with Dr. Levy. Thomas Levy, who was fascinating, all about vitamin C and liposomal vitamin C. That's up on the archives for the Liz Our Wellbeing show for podcasts. So these are the sachets, really good for traveling, liposomal vitamin C. They also do liposomal glutathione. I take that with me when I'm traveling especially. And very good, at, obviously, at this time of year, but also very good if you are feeling under the weather, if you've going to a party, you're going to be drinking some alcohol, the glutathione is really important. Um, they are quite expensive and they're expensive because they really are the real deal. I remember talking to uh, Ed at Youth and Earth actually about the cost of ingredients and if you find something online that is much much cheaper than other brands there's a fair good chance that it's not the same quality. Okay, so just check it out. You do tend to get what, you're pay what you pay for. Read the reviews, look at things like Trustpilot, go onto the website, see what else they sell, make sure they're a proper accredited nutritional supplement company. They haven't just dipped in to sell you some anonymous kind of orangey liquid or powder um, that isn't verified. So anyway, normally they have a 20% saving across their whole website of Abundance and Health, that's the website. And if you use Liz Loves, you get an extra 10% on top. So it's 30% off all their things, which is great because they are quite pricey. I think they're very, very good, um, but they are quite pricey. And so that means that you've got 30% off their website. And also, let me just get you the website details because it's not Ultriant. It is actually Abundance and Health. Um, you'll find the details, obviously, in the link that we give you. Um, I haven't got it here, but I'm pretty sure it's Abundance and Health. Maybe my team, you can just pop on to my notes here and let me know. Um, but they also have Butterfat Keto. So this is what I use. In fact, I can show you um, how I use this. Maybe I've got an open one. Maybe my open one's in London. Uh, of course, I'm trying to do it live now. I might have to use a knife just to cut that open. Bear with me one second. Um, because I really like the Butterfat Keto. It's one of those things that I do tend to keep in my cupboards. And... I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. Okay, so this is a new one. So I will just take the foil off. Again, I think it's useful to have this in your cupboard. It's also useful, frankly, if you run out of milk and just need a bit of you know, milk in your tea or coffee. So that's what it looks like, and it's like a white powder. And you can make it... If I show you how it dissolves, so basically you just put it in, you could sprinkle it directly into um, tea or coffee, but what I tend to do is make it into a kind of a milky drink first, and then I'll just throw that into my coffee or tea once I've made that. And it's good, again, you know, if, if anybody is following a keto diet or a high protein, uh, low carb, high fat, 
this was, you probably heard of the biohacker called Dave Asprey. He invented something called bulletproof coffee, which is where you chuck a load of butter into your coffee, basically. And it's uh, said to increase sporting performance and burn calories faster, help with your metabolism, just generally be an all round good thing. And he talks a lot about using medium chain triglycerides, which is MCT. You can see on the Butterfat Keto that contains MCT oil with grass fed butter and ghee and microbiome spores. So a lot of people who are on a kind of a paleo or keto um, or intermittent fasting strategies where you get up and you don't eat anything until a bit later in the day, but you might have a cup of coffee first thing, you could use this. This is said not to interfere with that because the body burns it in a slight, slightly different way. Also, it says it's very good for sports and endurance athletes and for busy and demanding lifestyles. So, do you know, when I first heard about this, I thought, mm, really? You know, I, like so many things, I get sent a lot of stuff to try. This stays in my cupboard and I go and I repurchase it and I have it. So this is a genuine goodie. Again, not the cheapest thing, but it lasts for ages. I think it's good. Yep, thank you very much, Rachel. It's abundanceandhealth.co.uk is the website. Everything on their website, I think, including this, is currently 20% off, but if you use your Liz Loves code, it drops it down by a further 10%, so you'll get 30% off. So I shall be restocking. Um, the extra 5% we've also got from Neil's Yard. So thank you very much, our lovely friends at Neil's Yard. So Neil's Yard, one of my favourite beauty brands, as you know, I've been trying out their frankincense cream. I remember when they first launched that years ago, and it's become a real classic, and I love it. And I just thought, well, that smells really Christmassy. I want to have a go with that. So I might show you that maybe on Monday when I do a Monday makeover um, live. But they've got, so Liz Loves gets you 15% off full price items. And then it says on Liz Extra 5, so pay attention to this, you get an extra 5% off any Black Friday sale items. So they've got a whole load of stuff on their website that's already discounted for Black Friday. If you want one of those things, then just use Liz Extra 5 and that gets you an extra 5%. So for example, they might have something that they've marked down by 25% use that extra code and it goes down to 30% off. So definitely worth having. But on your full price items that aren't discounted, then the Liz Loves will still get you 15% off, which I think is very generous. So thank you very much. Also, last but not least, sell return. You might have seen I popped a little picture on my Instagram this morning. I had such a, a nice start to the day. You know, I woke up and I was quite early waking up and because I didn't have to do the school run, one of the benefits of homeschooling, not many, but you know, one of them, I thought I've got a little bit more time, so I'm just going to take 10 minutes for me. So I use Lily's cell return mask on the fast mode, which is a nine minute cycle. So I think you get seven minutes of red, infrared and near infrared, a minute of the pink and a minute of the blue. So it's, it's just a lovely way to kind of start the day and to look a bit glowy without having to get out of bed, basically. <laughs> So I did that and then I have my Sensate gadget, which also has a 10 minute cycle that has a morning one. I don't know if any of you have tried that, if you've got your Sensate. But so I was just lying there, oh, propped up on my pillows in bed, thinking all I need now is for something to bring you a nice cup of tea. You know, that bit didn't happen. But anyway, it was a great way to start the day. And just to say that Lily has given us the 10% that we've already got with Liz Loves, which is brilliant. But they've also, they're doing a Black Friday sale, so it's double bubble, okay? You get double discounts. So if you've been looking at the cell return masks, if you've been looking at the neck array, I then got up and I was making some breakfast and I had my neck array on in the kitchen. Uh, or you're looking at the hair alpha ray for the guys and for the girls with thinning hair and hair loss. Go and check them out. They've got a great medical science team behind it. And you can be sure that before I allowed Lily to start talking about it, it was fully evidence-based, very much so. And I am a big fan of everything that she's doing. And uh, I hope you're surviving, sweetheart. I don't know if you're watching, but um, she's having a bit of a rough week, but uh, hopefully being encouraged by lots of great feedback and reviews. So thank you very much, everybody who's left such positive reviews. I mean, it's, I'm not surprised because it's a great product, but it's, it continues to work really well. 
So just to say that um, there is this new Instagram guide. Don't forget, if you're on Instagram, that little symbol of the book, which is new to Instagram, these guys constantly change and update, don't they? So that's what that means. It means that brands, particularly if, if it's a business account, like the Lizard Wellbeing magazine is a business Instagram account, you get a little guide and then you can put in lots of things. It just kind of makes you better able to curate all the stuff that we talk about. You know, we're going to create guides for recipes and beauty hacks and all of that. Um, so, oh, you like my polished plaster, do you? Excellent. <laughs> uh, oh, you just, oh, you just ordered the ingredients and the moulds to make soap. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, we've got lots of homemade beauty stuff on lizardwellbeing.com. If you fancy making some homemade beauty treats, I'm going to be doing more of that actually on the YouTube channel as well, showing how to make all sorts of things, bath milks and you know, massage blends and scrubs, all of it. it's so nice to be able to make homemade things. I think that kind of gift that you can give to somebody just made with love is, is so heartfelt. And I always love it when my kids give me something, you know, they've started to ask, you know, what would you like for Christmas? You know, what can we get you? And I, I say, well, can you make me something? And they go, oh, really? Okay. You know, it could be anything. I remember my, my eldest son, Guy, he's in Kenya and he made me two Spotify playlists. So, which I play all the time. I've got, I've got, them, they're both on my phone. I've got Mummy's Jazz Mix, it's called, which I play sometimes in the evening, and Mummy's Party Mix, which obviously has a lot of ABBA and some other really good kind of rocky songs. And I love it. And it's so great. And, it, you know, it just, it cost him time. You know, it cost him time and thought to think about doing it, putting it together. What would I like? Uh, and, uh, and then he was just able to get that to me really easily. And I really, you know, genuinely... It's uh, one of my uh, all-time favourite presents. Um, so now let me finish off these crackers just to show you the end of the journey. Don't forget, as I said, that for all the recipes now on the website, you can print them off. There's a little icon at the top of the recipe that just says print, and that's the printer version, so you don't get all the other stuff on the website. It just literally prints out really easily, which you can then file away. So to... Uh, finish them off and to bake them take a baking tray and you might have some silicon paper that you use or maybe just some baking parchment like that let's see if I can tear that there we go yeah and I might just neaten that off a little bit and you're simply going to spread your mixture onto the baking tray and bake it. Now you need to bake it at around sort of a medium oven. It's about 170 degrees in electric. What's that? Let me just check my conversions. 170 is, I should say on here with a bit of luck. Yeah, that's uh, 340 Fahrenheit or gas mark three. So it's quite low. So I am actually going to use um, the simmering oven of my Arga, because that's the lower one, and you're just going to let them really dehydrate, and then as I say, what you could do if you wanted, you could turn these into little biscuit sized rounds if you wanted, or, because I'm not doing these for anything particularly special other than just eating them, <laughs> I'm just going to spread them out reasonably thinly. Uh, onto the baking parchment here and then pop them in the oven and they'll take about well I think it's about 20-30 minutes that's what I did the last lot is that what it says on here yeah oh no actually it says longer here 55 minutes yeah we'll check them after half an hour because you never know it depends how thickly or thinly you spread them out I like doing it reasonably um, thickly but actually the nice little thin ones are also good too so, just finished doing that, and then I shall pop them in there. Need to make sure I don't forget them. That's the only thing with the Argos, you don't tend to get any kind of burning smells. A number of times I've put things in and forgotten about it and come down the next morning, and it's um, I've got some kind of like cremated charcoal remains of something. Anyway, I'm going to pop this one over here. So, you won't obviously see that come out because that is going to take 
potentially up to an hour, but that's what it will come out like. So I just literally broke those into little pieces like that. And um, you can also break them into tiny little bits, and make like kind of little croutons. Um, mm, yummy. And you can sprinkle them, sprinkle them onto salads, sprinkle them onto soups. So great way to increase protein, mineral content, have them as as I say, healthy snacks. So if you've got you know people that drop around for a drink in the evening or at the weekend, you just fancy a bit of crunchy crunchiness. I remember when I was keto for a month or so and I did my experiment. I loved it and I felt really well. I had loads of energy. Um, but I miss crunchy things because most crunchy things are carbohydrate. You know, you think about things like toast, crisps, you know, most crackers, biscuits full of carbs. So having something that does, you know, can fit into that low carb, higher fat, higher protein way of eating that still gives you that crunch, I think is a really good thing. So don't forget that there are some great deals over on the website. Um, lots of you I know have been grabbing the subscription gifts and doing all of that, so well done for that. Um, getting questions. Okay, so this lipstick, I think I've chewed most of it off, but this is, it's one of my favorites from Delilah. Um, so this one, actually, looking at the cover, that's their floozy. Do you remember I was wearing floozy? So that is the, the one that I used for the cover shot of the Christmas magazine. Um, but I will often, during the day, just use this one. This is called Muse, which I really like. It's just, uh, let's see if I can do it without a mirror. Mm. It's just a kind of nice, pinky, inoffensive, just a little bit of something that I think goes with everything. So I really like the Delilah brand. And in fact, Rupert is gonna be back with us. Yes, on Monday, the divine Rupert. So uh, Rupert, amazing makeup artist and co-founder with his wife of Delilah Cosmetics. All the single items on Delilah, we also have a Liz Loves, 20% off. And we're going to be talking about party makeup. We're gonna be doing sparkly but not in a kind of little girly, you know, princess bride kind of sparkle, but just a bit of grown up gleam and sparkle and how to use shimmer and sparkly stuff for the party season. So I'm feeling, beginning to feel really festive, I have to say. Is it too early to put the tree up? This is the question. I think actually that we need to wait until there's a D at the beginning of the month. Anybody else got their tree up? Yeah, I have actually sorted out my Christmas tree decorations, so I've got them in a box already, and I've ordered a few more little bits and pieces to um, just kind of add to the collection, as you do. Um, but yeah, the tree isn't going up just yet, but I am very tempted. I think doing sparkly makeup is definitely going to make me think about that. Um, and don't forget, actually, I know I'll be talking more about beauty and skin stuff, but the lovely Ishka, wasn't that so great to be joined by Leon? up in West Scotland, um, we do have 15% off all the beautiful Ishka things. And in fact, oh, just to remind you, these were some of their vegan gift bags. Love these, if you didn't see them before. So stylish, I think, that lovely white. And the smell, oh my goodness. I just opened that, and I wish you could smell it. I'm going to have to hold it up to you to smell. Can you have a good smell? It just smells like... Oh, just a fresh, lemony, ozone, sea breezes. Beautiful. Love it. Actually, I think a lot of that is coming from this little chap, which is their little hand-poured soy wax candle. Wasn't that great? As he was saying that all the people up there in the Outer Hebrides, all working, everything is made up there. I mean, it's just great. And their lovely marine cream. I know lots of you got the marine cream um, with your gift subscription recently, so hopefully that will arrive soon and that you will enjoy that. Anyway, that is about it for now. Thank you very much indeed for being with me. I'm going to have to put my timer on so I don't forget. Um, <laughs> so I don't forget the crackers in the oven. Uh, Penny, uh, you're talking about the ingenious collagen. Yeah, I love that too. Oh my goodness. Um, who else is enjoying NMN? Just Jane says, I too love the NMN. It is remarkable. Yeah, it really is remarkable. I'm very pleased indeed to have discovered it. The two things actually over the last year or so, well, I mean, I can't say that because there have been more than two things, haven't there? But the things particularly from Youth and Earth that I like are the liquid glutathione, which I take at night, and the NMN, 
which I take in the morning. Those two, night and day, have made a big difference. But Ingenious Collagen, that's also got Liz Loves, that's definitely helped my skin and my nails and my hair. So many things, Lactoferrin, you know, lots of people now. Literally, I'm hearing so many people are suffering with coughs and colds as well as, you know, the dreaded COVID. And I'm just saying, take a look at Lactoferrin. It's, uh, it's such an interesting supplement and really seems to, you know, for coughs and colds and flu bugs, shorten the severity and there's lots of interesting studies on that. So take a look. You will find medical studies, um, particularly at a website called PubMed, and they tend to publish a lot of the clinically reviewed trials. You know, we're talking about Cochrane Standard, double-blind clinical control placebo trials um, where we get a lot of our information from. Anna, you're struggling with fatigue at the moment. I hope you're getting a good night's sleep. I would definitely think about the NMN if you're struggling, um, but also look at you know boosting why you're struggling. Are you getting enough B12, for example? Are you getting enough iron? So take a look at everything on the Better You website, particularly with that amazing 35% discount at the moment. Um, you might want to increase those kinds of things at the moment. You need some more energy, yeah. Lovely, lovely to see everybody. Um, I am very much looking forward to seeing so many of you at the Live Twice Christmas Carol concert. I checked on the Eventbrite website yesterday. I think there were just a couple of VIP tickets left um, and we, I think, have sold over half of the general admission tickets. So if you would like to come, that is on Wednesday the 8th of December. And the start time is 6.45 and it will go on for just over an hour. So it'll finish around eight. So if you've got, you know, going out to supper in London afterwards, you've got plenty of time to do that. Uh, or please stay and have a glass of something fizzy and a mince pie and meet me and the team. And that will go on till about kind of half past eight or so. So anyway, I know lots of you are coming. Yeah, and I look, lots of you are wearing your jewellery too, so that we can identify each other. So this is my Neroli, which is also on sale at the moment on lazarewellbeing.com. But that is it for now. I'm going to be back with you tomorrow. If you're watching me in real time, tomorrow there is a new video going up on YouTube, uh, which is the Lazar Wellbeing YouTube channel. Friday, we've got the Friday Five podcast. Really interesting, talking about adaptogenic herbs, nootropics for the brain, all sorts. It's a really, really nice one to listen to. Uh, we've obviously got the newsletter, which I hope you're all subscribed to, which will come out at four o'clock on Friday afternoon. That's completely free. So lots of recipes and ideas for the weekend and the week ahead. And then I'll be back here, probably up in my bedroom, I should think, with Rupert. Not, uh, not in real life, obviously. I think his wife might have something to say about that. But uh, we will be online together doing some sparkly makeup demos. So I hope that you will join me live for the next IGTV and Facebook and YouTube live with Rupert. That's from Delilah Cosmetics, 12.30 UK time, if you're able to watch in real time on Monday. Until then, have a great few days. We're approaching hump day now. It's Wednesday, halfway through Wednesday in real time. So it's downhill all the way to the weekend. So have a lovely few days and I'll see you again very soon. Lots of love. Bye bye.